We're going to talk about our first assignment in Adobe Illustrator. It's on eLearn. Um, you go under the Adobe Illustrator section and do click on Floor Plan. And um, the ob objective is to familiarize yourself with the shape and text tools in Adobe Illustrator. Now you're going to create a new 800 by 500 pixel document in Adobe Illustrator. And you have to use at least three different shapes. Now you can use the pen tool, the shapes tool. Uh, so you know you can do square, circle, rectangle, and draw an accurate looking floor plan of this classroom using the skills you have learned so far in Illustrator. Uh, you can use the text tool, shapes, symbols, brushes, pen, pencil, line tool, and you're going to save it in your uh, four six weeks folder. Uh, here are some examples. Try, try to uh, spruce it up and c color it as much as possible. But um, here's a layout. Now, some of these are older layouts of this room. This room's changed a little bit. But um, this one's a good one that I like. Uh, this one is an old, old one. But uh, look at this checklist. Is the floor plan accurate to how the room is at this time today? Are three or more shapes introduced in the floor plan? Did you add labels and colors to the floor plan? So you got to add labels and you have to incorporate colors. And did you save it and turn it into the Dropbox? So that's going to be your assignment. Uh, we're, we will continue learning more stuff in Adobe Illustrator, but we're going to take a break from the lecture and uh, work on your first uh, assignment for a grade. Um, I want to show you one more uh, image that I did of this classroom and it's like a measured like a an actual accurate represent, representation of this class so give me a second and I'll show you okay uh, last summer we had to get carpet in this room so I, uh, they needed me to um, create labels uh, of the floor diagram so I went a little bit over the top and I did measurements and I tried to, um, I did like a, I did guides and gr um, a, a grid. Like if you go uh, view, show rulers, um, show grids and stuff, you can use those to help you um, make accurate representations. And I, this is actually, like pretty accurate as far as the the footage and where everything sat and how the rooms laid out but uh, I thought y'all might enjoy looking at this layout here uh, of this classroom got the cabinets podium doors computers with tape decks green screen table tricaster Notice there's uh, there's 29 computers in the center, 14 on each side, and one on the end. You got the scanners, then you got the computers over here with their desk. So um, I hadn't seen any any more uh, accurate than that, but uh, see see what you can do. Practice what you learn. See if you can learn a few more tricks. Uh, be sure to use labels and three or more different shapes and that is the floor plan assignment be sure you save it correctly and turn it in the Dropbox when you're done